There's probably a proper video coming later today. I'm a bit pressed for time, but still. Um, I hate driving. It's a, it's a necessity. It's just something that you have to do, like taking a shit or, or whatever else. But I don't like it. I don't, I don't enjoy it. One of the many reasons is roadkill. And I've hit a few animals, uh, a rabbit, a squirrel, and a pheasant. I remember each and every one. And I live out in the sticks, so there's a lot of wildlife, and you do have to be incredibly wary for deer in particular. Never hit one of those. But if at all possible, I try to avoid whatever animal it might be, and it does really upset me when I hit something. I'm not some hippy-dippy vegan or whatever, a lot of these animals, particularly the, the pheasants and the game birds and so on, you know, they're, they're there to be shot and to be eaten. But I'll still avoid them on the road because, well, at least if they're being shot and eaten, that's part of the, the circle of life or whatever. But if you just hit them, you know, it's no good for anything except the magpies and the crows, I guess. So. I'm undermining my own point here, but the, I feel it's unnecessary and often cruel to, to hit animals with your car. So I will always slow down or stop, whether it's a duck or a pheasant or a partridge or a rabbit or a hare or anything. I'll always stop or slow right down and carefully move past them. So I'm driving back today from dropping my partner off at the station and there's a little gaggle of partridges in, in the road. So I slow right down and steer very carefully around them and I'm not far past them when this car comes roaring the other way, doesn't slow down even a bit and just smacks into all two or three of them um, and just keeps on going full speed past the speed limit, I'm more fairly certain. They must have seen them, must have seen me slow down to move around them, and yet just... I don't understand the mindset that's worth being that cruel and killing something merely for inconveniencing you slightly for a a handful of seconds to steer around them. Yeah, is is your train that important? Do the kids need to be on time to school? You know, that that precisely that it's okay to just mow down a bunch of animals. I don't it seems it seems psychotic and massively unempathetic to me. And like I say, I'm not some hippy dippy person, not some vegan or something. You know, they were destined for the pot anyway. <laughs> But I don't think that makes a difference here. You know, just just killing something for being inconvenient. I don't, I don't get it, and uh, it upsets me every time I hit something, which I try very hard not to do. And when I see other other roadkill, like hedgehogs or uh, memorably a badger once, um, that's just been mowed down by some careless person. And it got me thinking about automated cars. Now, supposedly they'll be able to detect people and larger animals like dogs and so on. What about smaller animals? What about cats? What about hedgehogs or squirrels or partridges or pheasants? Are automated cars going to be smart enough to recognize these things and to avoid them. Now, I hate driving. Automated travel is appealing for precisely that reason. If I could just get into a car and let it do all the work, um, finding the place, all the rest of it, that would be fantastic. But 
is that going to lead to some massive uptick of roadkill with automated cars not recognizing or seeing these smaller animals or not being able to differentiate them from a stick or a discarded coffee cup or a leaf blowing in the wind there's always unintended consequences when you change things and much as I loathe driving at least as a human driver I can recognize an animal and avoid it and I'm not sure the algorithms in these automated cars are necessarily quite up to it yet <sighs> Zang <laughs> Mark, remember the dog.